Today I went out into the woods to forage. I was kind of hoping to find some black trumpet and chanterelle and bolete mushrooms and some other things, but I didn't. So, But what I did find today was quite a bit of really nice rose hips. I've got about two cups of rose hips. So I'm going to make, for the first time, rose hip ketchup. So I've got rose hips. I'm going to need apple cider vinegar. I've got a clove of garlic, a red onion from the garden, a jalapeno that's starting to turn, a small red bell pepper, uh, sea salt, brown sugar, celery salt, ground mustard, ground allspice. I would have I would use celery seed, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use celery salt. And then my secret ingredient, some of my homemade vanilla paste, one of the types that I've made. The first thing I want to do is get the rose hips put into a saucepan. I'm going to cover these with water and bring them to a boil. We'll get these simmering for a half an hour. I haven't halved them or deseeded them. I, I did take the blossom ends off, but that's not even necessary because we're going to strain these in a sieve. But you don't want to eat rose hips raw, or very many of them, because the seeds and hairs inside are an irritant and could cause some stomach problems. Anyway, we'll get these boiling and simmer for a half an hour. In the meantime, I'll get my vegetables chopped. I've got 20 minutes left on the simmer. All of my veggies are diced up. That's the bell pepper, the jalapeno, the onion, the garlic. This uh, bell pepper scraps, that's going to the composting worms in my garden tower outside. I've also got out my immersion blender and the immersion cup for that because it's deep. I've got a sieve and a couple of bowls. 30 minutes is up, so now I want to pour this into the sieve to get the liquid out. I hope that's a big enough. All right. I'm going to collect that liquid, but then I'm actually going to press the rose hips through that sieve into another bowl. That liquid will be saved for uh, consistency if we need to add it so that the paste isn't too thick. Now, as I press these with the back of a spoon through this sieve into the bowl to collect the paste, I am going to saute these vegetables in the same pan with a little bit of olive oil. So let's get it. Let's get this going. Just a little bit of olive oil. Heat that up and then we'll add the onions first and then the peppers and the garlic glass to get that cooking while I press this through the screen on this. And I'm going to have to have two hands to do this. There's my rose hip puree that I pressed through that sieve. I tossed all the seeds. I'm not going to compost those. It was a lot of seeds. Um, the veggies are sautéed down and soft. I added the garlic last so that it wouldn't get bitter. Now I need to add the puree, the rosehip puree, into this mixture after I pour in a couple of tablespoons of cider, raw cider vinegar. So just a couple of tablespoons. glaze the pan a bit. I'll get the puree in. The rose hip puree is in. It's very thick. So I'm going to break this up, get it stirred in. And I know that I'm going to add some of the reserved liquid. And then I'm going to simmer this for 10 minutes. Alright, I've got the puree mixed in with the sauteed veggies. Now I'm going to add some of the reserved rosehip liquid because that is awfully thick. And I'm going to add
about all of it. And see how that mixes up. I have added a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, uh, about half a teaspoon of salt, a couple of shakes of allspice, maybe four shakes of dry ground mustard, and a couple of shakes of celery salt. So I'm going to mix this in, plus about, oh, maybe a quarter to a third a cup of hot water to make it a good, loose paste consistency because it does need to cook for a little bit and I don't want it to get too thick. I want it to be ketchup thick. Their spices are all mixed in. Now I'm just going to stir in some of this hot water. I heated it up in my electric teapot. So we'll get this stirred in until it's about the right consistency to be able to simmer it for 10 minutes without making it too thick. It smells wonderful. I think that's pretty good consistency for right now. I've got my hot water on standby if I should need any. I'm simmering this on the lowest temperature I've got for about 10 minutes. The consistency is good. I just need to put it into my immersion blender container and get it completely pureed. I scraped everything I could out of that pan. We'll taste the spoon. I'll let my son taste it. Um, just to get what's left out of there. I don't want to waste any of it because every single rose hip that I harvested today is one that the birds and deer and other animals don't get, so I don't want to waste any of it. Now, I've got this hot liquid that's cooked. I added a little bit of salt to the top after I tasted it, some Redmond's Real Salt. I've got this in my blender cup for my immersion blender, and we will... I'm probably going to have to use two hands for this, but we're going to get it pureed. I added a little bit of water, hot water, to loosen it up, and I almost forgot my secret ingredient. Some of my homemade vanilla paste from some of the beans that I have been getting. I'm just going to add a tiny amount to give it a little bit of a unique flavor. I have tasted it and it is so good. It tastes really so much like ketchup. Uh, it's got a little kick to it because of that hot jalapeno or serrano, whatever it was. It was a little hotter than a jalapeno, I think, but I'm gonna put them, there's not much in here. It uh, doesn't make a whole lot. I'm going to fill up or maybe divide it between these two little I think they're four ounce, not even, weck jars, and I don't know that I'll can one. I might just throw it in the freezer because I don't want to have to do a water bath just for one little jar. But I'm going to get these put into the two jars. There we go. I got two jars, and one I'll put in the freezer, one I'll put in the fridge. I need to let them cool down before I do that with either, but it turned out really interesting and very good. A little spicy rose hip ketchup from wild foraged items and things I grew in the garden.